Hey what's up guys welcome to Laratives. Today in this video we'll be looking into some internals of Laravel. So we'll be looking at why this and this is returning the same results okay. So if I show you here first of all this user query get and show you in the browser and if I refresh here you can see here I am getting this results yeah. Now let me comment this and just uncomment this and normally we would do this in Laravel yeah but internally it will call this one okay so let me show you this so here it is also giving us the same results so let's see how it works under the hood so now let us see from this one first okay so in the user model it is calling static query method and in that query it is calling get so this is user model yeah so now let us go to the user model and let's first of all see if there is any query method so there is no any query method here as you can see here yeah so now it is extending this authenticatable which is actually this illuminate foundation auth user so let us go there and let's see if there is the query method so if you see here here is no any query method so it is just using these traits and just extending some model so let us see this the model one so this model so if you see here illuminate database eloquent model yeah so let's go inside it now let us search for query here so you can share there is a query method now you can share it is calling now new static means it means this yeah so it is calling like this this new query like this so it is instantiating an object of this model and it is calling new query on it and then it will return this illuminate database eloquent builder yeah so this query method is just returning an instance of eloquent builder so if you see here in the dashboard controller so we are up to here now let's see if there is a get method inside this builder or not so if we go here inside this builder and let us search for the get method so you can see here guys there is a get method so laravel finally calls this get method like this okay we know how the laravel calls the get method through the query static method so now let's see another way. So how the Laravel does the same operation under the hood when we just return this. So again, let's uh, go by our previous route. So let us go to the user model. So in the user model, there is no get method. So it is calling static get method here. Yeah. So here is no get method. Now if you go here inside the authenticable, so there is also no any get method. So let us again go inside the model and let us search for the get method. So if you see here, so there is no any get method. So there is underscore underscore get, which is a magic method. So it is not applicable here. Uh, so there is no any static get method here. And now let's see if it is uh, extending any other classes. So it is not extending any other classes. So there is something that is going on inside this class, not in any other classes. Okay. So let's see how this is happening. So if there isn't any static method that is defined in a class, then PHP will internally call magic method so it is basically those methods that start with underscore underscore like underscore underscore construct underscore underscore get underscore underscore call like that yeah so if there is uh, no any static method in a class then php will internally call underscore underscore call static method okay so here it is being defined so if I show you here in the dashboard controller, so there is no get method. So it will call this underscore underscore call static method. And first parameter will be the method name and second parameter will be the whatever parameters that were passed to that method. So in this case, the first parameter will be this get. Yeah. And second parameter will be null because there is nothing passed inside this parameter. Yeah. So the method is here get get now if you see here uh, guys so it is calling get in this instance of this model so this new static is just instantiating a new object of this model and this method means it is calling like this this get like this and parameters like this so you can think of this below code like this yeah since we cannot directly call this inside this static so we have to do it like this okay so it is doing it like this now let us search for the non-static get method in this class so if we search for get so uh, as before so there is no any 
get method in this class okay now it is not finding the non static get method so if the called method is not available then in case of the non static method php will internally call underscore underscore call method okay which is also a magic method so underscore underscore call so you can see here there is a call method over here so now here we are getting the get get which is from this one yeah the method name and the parameters okay which is null in this case so it is checking whether this method is either increment or decrement this name and then it will call it from here so we want reach here and here it is resolving some relationships yeah so we don't want to go here as well so after that it will now forward this call to this new query and it will pass the method name and the parameters okay now in this new query so what is this new query so now if i go here in the new query so now if you see here guys it is uh, just uh, doing it some other stops like registering global scopes and building a new query scope but it finally returns now this database eloquent builder so now let's see inside this builder now if we go here and search for the get method so you can see here guys there is a get method in this eloquent builder so finally they are both calling the same get method on the same builder class so in this way the laravel just uses the magic methods of php to make the api of the eloquent much more user friendly so this was on the full deep dive into the laravel course but it was some surface level so i hope you got some idea about how the getting of the results from a model works under the hood so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.